morning LPMS. This is Ava with your morning announcements. Today Tuesday. And it is a cycle two day. Today marks the beginning of quarter two. For those of you who need a fresh start, here is your chance. Stay organized, set goals, and stay positive. Good luck. Allie, what is happening today? Well, Ava, during the whole month of November, students and staff can purchase their OP gear. The link to the apparel shop is on the PTO website, where you can find a great selection of OP-styled clothes. Gear up for OP Fridays. Check your school email for a link to a form to record your votes. There are five categories. Funniest student costume, scariest student costume, most original student costume, best student costume, and best staff costume. Check the box next to as many as the costumes as you would like for each category. Winners will be announced this week. Orchard Park Middle School wishes Mr. Catalano and Mr. Johnson a very happy 245th birthday. Semper Fi Marines. The book fair is now online. Visit the school webpage to find a link for the fair. Happy shopping! This month, OPMS and the Character Committee are celebrating gratitude. Your teacher will show you a short video that exemplifies what it means to be grateful. Veterans Day is tomorrow. Here's a short clip about our heroes. You probably know that every year on November 11th, Americans celebrate Veterans Day to honor the millions of men and women who have served or are serving in the nation's armed forces. But bet you didn't know the whole story behind the holiday. For starters, it wasn't originally called Veterans Day, but Armistice Day to commemorate the truce signed between the Allies and Germany in World War I on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. The first Armistice Day in the U.S. was celebrated on November 11, 1919. All business was suspended for two minutes starting at 11 a.m., and parades and public gatherings were held to commemorate the occasion. Later, America also began honoring its unknown soldiers on Armistice Day, a tradition that continues today. At 11 a.m. every Veterans Day, a color guard ceremony represents all branches of the military at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. In 1954, the name was changed to Veterans Day, following a national campaign to have the day honor all veterans, not just those who served in World War I. And did you know, for seven years, Veterans Day was actually celebrated in October? In 1968, Congress moved Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October, so that government employees could enjoy a long weekend. But in 1975, President Gerald Ford returned Veterans Day to November 11th due to the historical significance. And that's where it sits on the calendar today. And do you know the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day? Both of them honor those men and women who have served in the military, but Memorial Day honors America's war dead, while Veterans Day honors all American veterans, living and dead. The U.S. Census Bureau estimates that there are currently over 21 million living military veterans in the United States. More than 16 million of these served during times of war, while 5.5 million served during peacetime only. So this Veterans Day, don't forget to say thanks to some of the millions of men and women who have served our country. Today is Nacho Grande with seasoned rice and seasoned tomatoes. Friday's lunch is barbecue pork sandwich on a roll or cheese pizza. This has been Ava, Allie, and Abby reporting for MSTV. Stay healthy and have a great day. Tuesday. Today is nacho grande with seasoned rice and seasoned tomatoes. Friday's lunch is barbecue pork sandwich on a roll or cheese pizza.